What were your expectations for this training course? Actually, I came here because I wanted to learn new things. Uh, because th th this topic is, I think, really important nowadays. Uh, we must uh, include everybody and know how to do it. So I uh, wanted to, le to learn new things that I didn't know before. I'm living without expectations because expectations lead to disappointments. So I came here without expectations. My expectations. Uh, so uh, I was looking forward that I would finally found out how to really think about social inclusion in the right way, especially with the situation that's now in Europe. And uh, finally, I found out much more than I was expecting. So it's even better. So, for example, my expectations were that I uh, waited that I will meet the new people here and I will find new friends and I did, so I'm very happy about it. What was the most difficult thing in this project that you had to overcome? The most difficult thing was the language. I not speak well English. Quindi eh, ho un senso di frustrazione perché eh, non posso dare quello che vorrei al gruppo. Ok, il mio grande obstacolo era la lingua che ho dovuto overcome perché non parlo buon inglese. Mi sentivo frustrato perché non potevo dare tutte le contribuzioni che potevo dare al gruppo perché della barriera lingua. Barrier. Probably uh, the most difficult for me was when we had activity about the European Court of Human Rights in different uh, uh, institutions all around Europe. So for me it was really difficult to try to understand. And then the most uh, more difficult for me it was to explain it to other people. Maybe the most uh, the most difficult thing was uh, you know using English all the time. Uh, um, I think I speak English quite well, but uh, you need to get yourself into the English mood, like uh, English mode. You need to think English, not uh, not Polish. So now I think in English, <laughs> so something like that. I think it was learn how to speak in public. My fear of speaking in English because I always thought that uh, people don't understand me and uh, that I. Um, that I don't use uh, the verbs correctly, or it's just an example. Uh, but now at the end I think I'm really okay with this. What do you think you learned this week? This week? How to expect? Uh, what to expect? How to uh, measure different people from different countries? I learned many things about their countries, their traditions. I learned many things about the program itself, about inclusion exclusion, about the European uh, projects. More details about uh, inclusion, exclusion, about uh, people, about how are they feeling, the excluded or the included. Uh, and also I really enjoyed um, all the teamwork we had. About the topic of inclusion and, uh, and, and exclusion also, but also I improved my social skills like team working, team building and basically communicating and facing problems together and solving them eventually. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about the other countries. Uh, not only about the realities there, about the food, about the culture, but I think I've learned a lot about the situation, about social inclusion and exclusion uh, in the other countries. I found out a lot of new things and I think it was really, really enriching. Allora, per me era la prima, eh, la prima esperienza in un contesto del genere, quindi le mie aspettative era capire le differenze tra i vari ragazzi nell'approccio eh, con le diversità nei vari paesi europei. Ok, for me, first to tell, for me it was the first experience of this type and the uh, important thing that I learned was to understand the different approaches in different countries um, regarding the disability and diversity. What is your opinion on the cooperation between the participants? Yeah, it was really good cooperation, actually. Yeah, I think we were a great team and we, we accomplished what was the main goal of this project. Actually, I'm very satisfied because Angelica had the system with the numbers and we weren't like uh, uh, country groups. 
I loved it because I think I cooperate with everyone in the room and I had the opportunity to talk. So I think it was very good. I didn't expect it to be that successful actually. I think it, it was great because everyone has participated a lot. Actually it was really awesome when we were working in the teams. Not just during sessions, but uh, they proved teamwork also during the free time. For example, when we went to Nitra Castle, we have one disabled participant, and like uh, all the people, they work uh, together to bring him to castle because it was impossible for him. Uh, there were a few stairs, like uh, seven plus ten, so they they work as a team to let him see also the, the cathedral of uh, of the castle. So I think that. Uh, here. <laughs> in what way do you think you have improved your skills? In communication skills and understanding different opinions. I cannot say it now, but I, because like you know a lot of information and still it's not really organized in my hands or uh, my head, so I have a kind of mess there, but I think in, it will be possible to say in one or two weeks when I come back home and I will look at the problems in Estonia from a kind of fresh perspective. Uh, well, I think I improved my English and then maybe I'm more open-minded when I saw the point of view of the people from all these countries. And what does the fox say? <laughs> Have anything to add?